back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be unboxing these Fox Locks from Living Hair Store, Amazon Living Hair Store. It's a messy, soft Fox Locks. I actually like Amazon Living Hair Store a lot, and I've tried some of their products. You can look through my YouTube channel to see some of their products that I've tried out in the past. So, it came in this very pretty pink bag. I really like the bag, it's so cute and pretty. Um, so this is how one of the packs look. In each pack we have 20 fox lock. And I'm going to be bringing it out now so you can see. There are 20 locks in each pack. And it's packaged like this. And there are six of this. I have six more in the pack. Okay. These are the other parts. I also got this um, crochet hook. Amazon Living Hair so always has this in their pack. So based on experience, they always have it, which is quite helpful. I have a few at home now. <laughs> I also got some jewels in the bag. So I found this in the bag. They're really cute for decoration of um, crochet hair. Okay, so that's all I have in the bag. Pretty bag. All right, so let's go right into the video. For this fox lock hairstyle, I'm going to use this kinky hair to finish up the hair. This is how the kinky hair looks. And when it's outside the pack, each one looks like this. And I'm just going to cut it right in the middle here and brush it out. I'll show you an example of the one I've brushed out already. I've brushed this out already, so I'm just going to use it just like this. I'll do a demo of how I'm going to combine these two types of hair. I have also done a little bit of preparation of my hair. I have sectioned my hair out because I'm going to walk from the back towards the front in steps. So I'm going to start from the back. I'll do the first layer followed by the next one all the way to the front. Right now, I'm just going to start with the first line by undoing the hair. So next thing I'm going to do is to start braiding. I'll try as much as possible to maintain the triangle shape. So I'm not going to braid the hair all the way to the end because I don't need to. You will understand why I'm saying I don't need to braid all the way to the end as we go into the video. Okay, so this is one section. For the next one, I'm going to do another triangle shape. My hair is moisturized and brushed out already, so I'll just carry on with the braids. carry on to the next step next I'm going to use the crochet hook to fix the fox locks on the braided hair like so so I'm going to close the crochet hook and I'm just going to secure the locks onto my braided hair like this so I'll pass the locks through the hole 
through the loop and then I'm just going to pull yeah so I'll pull it and then I'm going to end up with something like this for now for each one okay I'll repeat the process again fixing the locks onto all the braids in the first layer the next thing I'm going to do is to use um, the kinky hair to finish up the first one I'm going to do a demo with this one so I'll use the kinky hair to wrap around the base of the hair so I just wrap it well it doesn't have to be too tidy okay so after securing the base I'll just keep wrapping around like so with the kinky hair the fox lock itself is a messy fox lock so I'll keep wrapping and I intend to stop around where my hair ends I'll just go maybe a little bit beyond my hairline where my hair ends. So I just keep wrapping like so just to tidy up the base and to give it a nice finish. Okay. So when I get to the end like this, because I brushed out the hair, I have thin ends, right? Which is really good. It will help to give it a nice finishing. So I just finished by making at least about two loops to secure the kinky hair onto the locks. Okay, so I've made two loops now, two or three loops should be perfect. Okay, so now that I'm done making the loop, it would be good to keep the area tidy. So I'm just going to trim. I trim off the tiny kinky hair at the ends. And the pretty the first one is pretty much ready. See, like so. I'm going to repeat this along this line, then I'll move on to the next line all the way to this level, and then I'm going to switch on to the front. <laughs>
is all done guys I'm just gonna apply some hair mousse and I'll be back with more details <laughs> pretty much ready guys and I absolutely like how it looks I only used three packs out of the six packs I received so I basically used half of the packs and it feels very lightweight it doesn't feel heavy if I use the whole six packs you can imagine how it will look it will be so big and heavy but I only used half of it and this three packs feels very lightweight I applied some mousse to give it some shine and as part of the finishing touches and I absolutely like how the mousse makes it look. I did some triangle patterns throughout my scalp as you can see but I'm still going to share some pictures and clips at the end of this video so you can see how the triangle patterns actually look throughout my hair. So watch out for the pictures. You might be wondering how I made the lines to achieve the triangle patterns. What I usually do whenever I want to make any line in a part of my head where i cannot see is to use two mirrors so i basically put one mirror in front of me the other one at the back and then i use the one in the front to see what uh, is on the mirror at the back so it's just as simple as that that's what i always do whenever i need to make any lines at the back of my head for example and i want it to look nice so i'll be sharing some pictures of the finished hair at the end of this video and so please watch out for the pictures thank you for watching please leave your comment let me know what you think like comment and share as well and i'll see you in my next video thank you very much and stay safe bye